हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर सीरीज ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज जीएम क्रॉप्स अंडर दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट जीन एडिटिंग टेक्नोलॉजी जीएम प्रोसेस इन क्रॉप्स अबाउट जीएम क्रॉप्स एडवांटेजेस ऑफ जीएम क्रॉप्स कंसर्न्स एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ जीएम क्रॉप्स स्टेटस ऑफ जीएम क्रॉप्स इन इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड एंड लास्टली द वे फॉरवर्ड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द जीन एडिटिंग टेक्नोलॉजी जीन एडिटिंग इज द एबिलिटी टू मेक हाईली स्पेसिफिक चेंजेस इन द डी एन ए सीक्वेंस कस्टमाइजिंग इट्स जेनेटिक मेकअप जीन एडिटिंग इज परफॉर्म यूजिंग एंजाइम्स पर्टिकुलरली न्यूक्लियसिस दे आर इंजीनियर टू टारगेट अ स्पेसिफिक डी एन ए सीक्वेंस दे आर दे इंट्रोड्यूस कट्स इन टू द डी एन ए स्ट्रैंड एनेबलिंग रिप्लेसमेंट ऑफ डी एन ए की अमंग जीन एडिटिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज इज अ मॉलिक्यूलर टूल नोन एज क्रिस्पर कास्ट नाइन It is a powerful technology discovered in 2012 by American scientist Jennifer Doudna, French scientist Emmanuel Carpentier. CRISPR-Cas9 functioned with precision, allowing researchers to remove and insert DNA in the desired locations. Now let's discuss about GM process in crops. To produce a GM plant, a new DNA is transferred into plant cells. Usually the cells are then grown in tissue culture where they develop into plants. The seeds produced by these plants will inherit the new DNA. This could include changing the way the plant grows or making it resistant to a particular disease. The new DNA becomes part of the GM plant's genome which the seeds produced by these plants will contain. The genetic makeup of an organism is its genome in which all plants and animals is made of DNA. The genome contains genes regions of DNA that usually carry the instructions for making proteins it is these proteins that give the plant its characteristics now let's discuss about gm crops there are many gm crops grown around the world few types of gm crops grown in the united states are soya bean corn sugar beets canola and cotton BT cotton is the only genetically modified or GM crop that has been approved for commercial cultivation in 2002 by the government of India. BT cotton has been genetically modified by the insertion of a common soil bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis. BT brinjal is resistant to brinjal shoot fly. It was approved by GEAC in 2009. But due to 10 years moratorium imposed on GM crops by the technical expert committee appointed by the Supreme Court no further action on commercialization has been taken DMH11 mustard or Dhara mustard hybrid 11 is developed by Delhi University it is pending for commercial release as GEAC has advised to generate complete safety assessment data on environmental bio safety Now moving on to advantages of GM crops disease and drought resistant plants that require fewer environmental resources such as water and fertilizer increased supply of food with reduced cost and longer shelf life faster growing plants and animals medicinal foods that could be used as vaccines or other medicines the productivity of cotton increased from 191 kg per hectare in 2002 to 3 to 477 kg per hectare in 2017-18 The production of cotton has been increased from 86.21 lakh bales in 2002-3 to 348.88 lakh bales in 2017-18 due to adoption of BT cotton. In 2021-22, India spent rupees 1 lakh 56,800 crore on the import of 14.1 million ton of edible oils, equivalent to nearly a third of our total domestic consumption. Edible oil import will reduce as the production will increase. Now let's discuss about concerns and disadvantages of GM crops. This process cannot be reversed. Any deliberate environmental release has to be only after thorough, independent, peer-reviewed assessment of long-term implications. Much of the current debates focus on the potential risk of GM crops for human health. Some of the health risks pertinent to unapproved GMFs include antibiotic resistance, allergy, nutritional changes, and the formation of toxins for example few reports said that pink ball worm has developed resistance and can infect bt cotton as well the cartagena protocol on biosafety refers to genetically modified organisms as living modified organisms and propagates them and proliferates 
the capability of the GMO to escape and potentially introduce the engineered genes into wild populations and the reduction in the spectrum of other plants including loss of biodiversity. Now let's have a look at the status of GM crops in India and the world. The Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee or GEAC under MEOF and CC is responsible for the assessment of proposals related to the release of genetically engineered organisms and products into the environment including experimental field trials. In 2002, approval was given for the commercial release of Bt cotton. DMH11 is also under consideration for release. Bt brinjal was put on 10-year moratorium. By 2014, around 96% of the area under cotton cultivation in India was Bt cotton. India became the fourth largest cultivator of GM crops by SRH and the second largest producer of cotton. GM crops are today grown in over 30 countries. Lastly, let's discuss about the way forward. Adoption rates of GM trades have been more than 95% in some cases with no evidence of adverse effects. If India is at present importing GM canola oil, Indian farmers should also cultivate mustard by developing the same technology. The ICAR and other publicly funded institutions have been working on breeding GM crops for different trades such as higher yields, biotech and abiotic stress tolerance. The landmark decision of the government to approve GM mustard should be taken to its logical conclusion. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims question which has been asked in 2012 also. What are the reasons for the people's resistance to the introduction of Bt brinjal in India? 1. It has been created by inserting a gene from a soil fungus into its genome. 2. The seeds of Bt brinjal are terminator seeds and therefore the farmers have to buy the seeds before every season from the seed companies. 3. There is an apprehension that the consumption of Bt brinjal may have adverse impact on health. Select the correct answer using the codes given below. 1, 2 and 3, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only or 2 and 3 only. And now mains question. Genetically modified crops play a significant role in enhancing productivity, fight against hunger and malnutrition, critically analyze. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.